My people wonder shall never end. Hey, hey. They said, only of the first palace is in this array. Oh, they everywhere is scattered. Over the fact they said, the Mitokwe broke Ashley's juju pot. And they said, when she broke this cup, uh, pot, the bees, oh, scorpions, oh, crabs, oh. If you see the kind of thing that was coming out from the pot, they said everyone was marveled. <laughs> they were all shocked. And the reason why uh, they said the Mitokwe broke the, uh, this pot is because Ashley called her a pretender. My people, she not be pretender. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's just go into the gist proper. But before we continue, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And always remember that these are all alleged information. Yes, so according to the information, they said, considering how things are going into the palace right now, the things are not moving well, uh, especially for the Oloris, the way they have been uh, enjoying the palace. Things are no longer the way it used to be. The said KBS is angry with them. And only recently, they said KBS called them to tell them that uh, they have seen how things have been playing out recently, that uh, Oba can they have paid with his life for stopping Queen Naomi's return on that June 30th, despite all his efforts, and warn them seriously to be very careful that it might happen to any one of them soon if they are not careful enough. That they should continue fighting Queen Naomi. They, they think Queen Naomi is a woman like them. They don't know that Queen Naomi is, uh, is a daughter of Zion, a special being. And after that, they said the, the wives were frightened. They were all afraid because they don't know what will happen next. They don't know. They all know that they are fighting for Naomi's return. And if Oba can, they can pay with his life and even encourage his own children not to fight for Naomi again, not to involve themselves in anything that has to do with Queen Naomi, that is what they said Oba can, they told his children on his sick bed telling them to be very, very careful that when Naomi, if there's any way, as a matter of fact, they need to make peace with her. They need to, they shouldn't call her names because there was a time they were calling her witch, that uh, she's the reason why their father is always sick and all of that. They said their father warned them before crying that they should desist from those names calling and uh, support Queen Naomi and the new of her first return. And they uh, avoid anything that has to do with Queen Naomi again. So, and that is to say that the fear of Queen Naomi is the beginning of wisdom. My people, wonder shall never end. There is nothing God cannot do for his people. Uh, for his uh, people. So, for that reason, they said the wives are afraid. And this, uh, Temitokwe decided to go and talk to the wives, you know, and see if they will go and talk to Queen uh, to KBSC, then KBSC will help them to go and beg Queen Naomi to forgive them because they all know that in one way or the other they have fight Queen Naomi's return. They said uh, 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 Timitope wanted to go and talk to Mariam over this. You know, Mariam as the first wife, let them join to, first together, let all of them gather together. Talk to KBAC and uh, Dr. Elizabeth. Let them help them to organize a meeting where they will beg Queen Naomi for forgiveness and they stop fighting her because they are afraid of what will happen and all of that. That was what they said. Temitokbo went to uh, Igbi with. And they say Igbi blasted her, telling her to uh, mind her business. That they did not come to this palace together that if there's any fight that she wants to fight, she'll be fighting on her. her that how is she, why is she accusing her that she is fighting Queen Naomi? They said that was what Igbi told her. That she's not fighting Queen Naomi. That if she, if Temitokwe is fighting Queen Naomi, Temitokwe should go and beg Queen Naomi for forgiveness so that nothing will happen to her if she is afraid of spying. <laughs> so when uh, she did not uh, su uh, succeed with uh, talking to Igbi, for them to join force together to beg for Queen Naomi's forgiveness. They said she decided to go to uh, Ashley. And uh, Ashley, on the other side, is very, very angry with her, based on some of the things that have transpired between them before. So, on getting to Ashley, they said she saw Ashley doing one kind thing with one juju pot like that. And in her mind, she sensed that there is something that Ashley is doing that for manipulations and all of that due to 
what she saw while coming. You know, while coming to see Ashley. She took Ashley on her way. She saw certain things before she uh, actually noticed that she was around, you know. So for that reason, uh, she started telling Ashley the same thing that she went to tell Igbio. Mm -hmm. How they should uh, go to their husband. You know that they have uh, done one or two things against Queen Naomi. Uh, they don't want to end up like uh, Oba Akande. They needed God's intervention. They needed God's forgiveness and all of that. But before God forgive them, they need to go and ask, beg Quenami for forgiveness, this and that. That was what they said she was telling uh, Olori Kalabash. And Olori Kalabash told her that, okay, so you have done a whole lot against Quenami, eh? And people are accusing us about, uh, uh, about it, telling, saying that we are this, we are that, especially her. So they said... Uh, that was how Ashley told her that if you have done anything to Queen Naomi, go and beg Queen Naomi that she, she have not done anything to her. That so you have been a pretender all this while. So because the way you are fidgeting, the way you are afraid of this whole thing, because Kabiesi said that you don't, and that one of you will pay with your lives if you did not stop uh, fighting Queen Naomi and all of that. They say why she was fidgeting, uh, the way she was fidgeting. Then Ashley called her, Ashley told her so, you are just a pretender all this while. That you have been pretending to be supporting Queen Naomi's return. Yeah? You are just a... That was how they said Ashley called her pretender. And they said she started calling Ashley names again. How Ashley have, was the one who pushed Queen Naomi out of her matrimonial home. That had it been Ashley did not push Queen Naomi out of the matrimonial home. That they, they will even get married to Kabiesi and all of them will still be living in the palace right now without problems. That Ashley is just a, a manipulator. That Ashley, they say why they are on it too. They were changing words and the thing got violent. Before you know it, they almost got... Uh, ad but then... Uh, it looks as if uh, Temitoko was targeting that pot. And all of a sudden, they said the way she smashed it, uh, she carried the pot and smashed it on the floor. And they said, uh, 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 Ashley shouted in a way that she was, you know that something has happened. And all of a sudden, they said bees started flying out from that uh, pot. Bees, oh, uh, scorpions, oh, uh, crab, so the kind of things that was coming out of that place, even uh, uh, Olo, uh, Olori Pretender, because that is what they say she called her. Olori Pretender, too, was frightened. She was kind of behaving as if that something that come out from that pot was disturbing her as in, hey, my people, when I hear this one, I said, now, nah, wow, that was how they said Olori Kalabash started screaming, screaming, what have you done? Who sent you this and that? My people, wonder shall never end. I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? They are all alleged. I do not live in the palace. I beg, subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and remember, they are all rumored information. Share my video. Thanks for your support. Bye.